Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Today, we're going to do a quick overview and review for this game. If you want the full how-to, go ahead and click this icon up here or the link in the description. Now let's get into it. Bobo Mahjong is a two-player game for ages 10 and up with an average gameplay length of 20 minutes. Published by Sunrise Tornado. The basic overview of Bobo Mahjong has you creating sets of three cards and keeping one to create a personal ingredient pile. Once a player has collected 10 ingredients, the opponent has a final turn and the game ends. Six ingredients are chosen from your ingredient pile to score and the player with the most points wins. Let me walk you through my experience with Bobo Mahjong. Mind you, this is a reviewer's copy so there's not a 100% guarantee that it will be exactly the same. Anyway, I opened up the box, went through the cards, read the rules, and had a general understanding of how to play. Played it amazingly quick, playing set after set after set, until it came time for the scoring. I had all my ingredients, and then remembered I could only pick six. And I had a mishmash of different things in there, so scoring was a little hectic. Still won, but just barely. We reshuffled everything and with how to play in mind, I played a more strategic game that felt a lot more satisfying than my initial run. It was quick and enjoyable, and we played about five more games before we ended for the night. And wouldn't you know it, I woke up the next morning with a craving for some boba tea. So we went, picked up a few drinks, played a few more rounds. Having the drinks felt like it enhanced the theme of the game. So much so that it made me want to play one more round, and then another, and then another, until I realized I was supposed to make a review for this video. And here we are now. <laughs> the components for Bobo Mahjong are a simple deck of 48 colorful ingredient cards, along with two player aids. These cards are illustrated beautifully. They have adorable little dancing boba in different flavors. It's bright, colorful, and eye-catching. And it comes in a standard deck size, meaning it can fit in just about any pocket or bag, making its travel potential near endless. When discussing these at play, you have to keep in mind how you want to score at the end of the game. You can still have a good time just playing sets as they come up, but to optimize your play and get real satisfaction from the strategy in this game, it really helps to have a plan, in my opinion anyway. You'll feel more accomplished if your plan succeeds and want to play just one more game if you missed it by that much. Overall, it's a pretty easy game to learn and play, especially if you know poker lingo such as straight, three of a kind, four of a kind, and things like that. As for replay value, I think Boba Mahjong was made for the casual boba tea drinkers and coffee drinkers in mind. The game is great to play as you sit there, sipping on a warm or cold drink, playing set after set. It's so light, small, and quick that you can get in a couple games before you even finish your first drink. And not only that, it works great for couples or just any pair, especially when waiting for something. For example, at an airport waiting for a plane or a restaurant waiting on your meal. Its portability and quick game length really opens a lot of doors for it. Now, as for luck and strategy, I have already mentioned the extra satisfaction you can get when playing this game strategically. But there is a tiny bit of luck that comes in depending upon what your opponent does. Not much though, because you can set up your future turns just by placing certain ingredients in certain mixing piles and being able to play multiple sets on a turn. And since you can use a card from the mixing pile to make your set, this will help you complete sets. Or, when you're done making your set and keeping your one ingredient card, you can bury other cards in the mixing piles so your opponents can't get to them. I think Boba Mahjong is a great two-player strategy game with a sprinkle of luck in it. Now being from the third coast of Houston, Texas, there are a lot of boba tea places along with a lot of other Asian influences that are a part of daily life here. I grab my black milk tea minus the boba. Sorry. With a friend and just sit and talk in the tea bar before leaving. 
We played Magic one time, but the game lasted a little long and took up a good portion of the table. But now, I can proudly walk in with my Boba Mahjong game and play a game or two while quietly sipping my black milk tea with no boba. Sorry again. And feel like I'm contributing to the experience of a tea cafe with my boba themed game instead of being a nuisance with a table full of cards that not many can relate to. To conclude, I think this game is worth all the boba it contains. This board gamer says, not boring. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get myself a black milk tea. Don't worry, I brought my own boba this time. <laughs> it's terrible, who does that? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.